Hello everyone, welcome to the beautiful world of WooCommerce with React and WordPress. So in the previous videos we have been developing this uh, application wherein we are showing all of these products, uh, we can you know add to the cart, we can view cart, we can increase the quantity, we can decrease the quantity, we can remove the items and all of that stuff. And in this video, we're going to simply focus on categories. I have been getting a lot of requests from people. Uh, I had one recent from Stephanie uh, who said that categories are an important part for any e-commerce store. And I completely agree with her. It is indeed. So in this video, I'm going to show you the category page, how to create that. So currently, you can see that you've got three categories, top three categories being displayed on the home page along with the products and if you click on these individual categories then it takes you to that particular category page uh, then you have the category name being displayed and then you have all of the products that are related to it uh, at the moment I haven't created filters that's something we're going to do in future but I think mainly we should focus on the uh, key functionalities uh, for example uh, login registration that we're going to be discussing very soon I'm going to make that video on that and we also going to discuss about um, how to create order okay and we always come back to uh, creating filters and all that because I'm sure uh, once you know how to build this application it will be really simple for you to build the other things as well okay so if you've been following this series along this is going to be brilliant if you haven't followed along or if you haven't watched it that's completely fine uh, you can check this out and you can check out the other videos later so you can see that you can still add all of this to the cart you have different items available and you can see you can remove them etc so let's focus on categories we have a category page as well so if you go to this page we have the top three categories being displayed uh, of course you can increase the number how many categories you want to show and each of these categories are being displayed with their id as well it doesn't look that great right now because i haven't really worked much on the css bit but i think at the moment what we're focusing on on is building application and then we can do the CS later okay so let's begin to code and how do we create this category what is the query that we're going to write let's do this okay so let's first understand how to write the query to get all of these categories now as you must know if you're following along in the previous videos that we are using GraphQL to fetch the data from our WordPress uh, and uh, WordPress server and to uh, we are using the WP GraphQL WooCommerce plugin to do that and we already set that up so if you haven't watched the previous ones already you can watch it to understand how it's set up just a continuation of the previous videos so let's understand how to write it so the best part is that you have the documentation available so if you just write product category okay so you can see that you have a root query so this is where you land you click on this and then you have different options available so let's do that so if I want to write a query I can just write product okay first I have to open curly braces then product category okay and uh, you can see you have different options over here so either you can check it here or you also have options here to check so you can see now that I have after before first last and where so I basically needs need the first three of them you can display more if you want but I want to go for the first three so let's go with that and then what do I need out of this so basically if you check you have notes available so if you open that you have notes it's, all, it's already written on its own and then you go inside of the notes so what do we have available so we have the name available we have the ID available and that's what we're interested in so you want the ID you hit enter you want the name what else do we want we want the slug so it's up to you whichever things you want you can take it that's the best part of GraphQL you can be more specific of what you want you get what you want you don't really need to get everything okay and then you have image you need image what do you need from image let's check what do we have available here inside of the image so inside of the image you can check you with all of these options available and what I'm interested in is the source URL so I'll just get that okay so I want the source URL so now let's just run the query and there you go you've got all of the data available you have got product categories you have the ID the name the slug 
the image, the source URL, and all of that information. I've got the first three. If I want four of them, I can simply just type four and just do this, and I get four of them. So let's stick to three for now. Okay. So you've got this. That's how you write the query. So what I'm, what we're going to do is, we, the first thing we'll do is we'll go ahead and uh, create a categories page. So let's do this. So what I'm going to do is go to pages. So we are in Next.js. And I say categories, categories.js. Okay, so this is, the, this is the place where we're going to write all of our uh, component related stuff. So what we can do is we'll say const and then we will write the name of the component which is categories categories and then it will need props and this is the arrow function so and we're using functional components okay so we write that and then it needs to return something so let's return and it's going to return the we already have layout available which contains the header and the footer so all i can do is just import the layout component and just wrap all of my content inside of it and you can see that it's imported that and this contains your nav bar and all of that stuff so we we can do the reusability okay and uh, this is where we're going to write our categories so we'll say categories okay and let's give it a div with the class name of text center because I want the content in the center let's give it some margin so I'm using bootstrap mt5 okay and then we have the h2 let's give it the name of categories okay and then let's create another component which is going to contain all of the categories okay but just before we do that uh, let's do our query okay so I'm going to write the query on top so I'm going to go over here and say const and say category query. So you can write the whatever name you want. It's up to you. And then I would, I'm going to need the G, GQL in order for me to parse the query. So I'll say import GQL from and this we're going to import that from GraphQL tag. We've already installed all of these packages. If you've watched the previous video, you already know that. And uh, then we'll say GQL, and then we'll write our query. So we'll say query, and then open and cl closing bracket. And then since we've already written a query, uh, we can just do a copy paste. So let me tell you that you can write query over here, but it's not really required. So you could just use that in the graphical. graphical. So I'll hit enter and do this and you can see that now I've got all my query available. Of course, I don't need the extra brackets so I'll just get rid of that. And uh, I think I'll get rid of one more, I guess. Awesome, so this is our query. And then of course we need to fetch the data from this query. So what we can do is we can say categories, which is basically the name of our component, this one. Of course, we have to do export default as well, so that it's available. And categories dot get initial props, and then async await. So we're going to use async await a sync. Okay, and then it's going to be an arrow function, and uh, we're going to store some result in the query that we sent. The whatever result we get okay result and then we're going to use await and then we need to import client so we've already created client as you already know that we've created client over here apollo client this one right here uh, using apollo client so we're just going to import that client okay i'm not going to uh, into a detail of it because i've already explained all of this in previous videos so if you haven't watched it you can certainly do that so i need to import client from where is it so inside of the components, Apollo client, brilliant. Okay, so since I've imported that, I can use it here. So I can just say await client dot query. So I'll do my query over here. So this is gonna need an object as a parameter. 
and this object is going to need your query so we've already written a query i could have written the whole query and just done entire thing over here but rather than making it dirty it's better to keep it consistent on all of the components and keep it on top okay so you've got this as the query right and then this is going to return the result of what we received so we'll just say return and this is going to return an object and we can name it whatever you want but since it's categories I'll put product categories because remember even WordPress has categories so you shouldn't get confused that's why I'm putting product categories so result.data um, okay so you're going to get result.data and inside of data if you remember yeah so inside of result you get the entire data and then you have data so that's why I'm accessing data and then you have product categories so I'm just going to do a copy dot paste okay so this is what is going to be returned by here and then inside of this you have notes so notes will contain the information okay so you have categories dot get initial props then you have async then const result await client dot query and then inside of this I have passed this object which will take your query and then I'm just returning the product categories and this is just colon okay so that's about it so what happens is when this component gets rendered when the get initial prop is going to be called it's going to be rendered on the server side first so when it's going to be rendered it's going to go ahead and make a query uh, which we have written to the GraphQL server that we have on the WordPress using the WP GraphQL WooCommerce plugin and then uh, when it gives you the result then we're going to set that result equal to the product categories which is, the, is an entire object and whatever you return from here will be then available to your component inside of this functional component inside of props and that's why we pulled the props okay so what we can do now is simply go ahead and pull product categories out of props so so we have so remember this is the name so let me just console props for you to make it easier and show it to you first okay let's see so I'm gonna go over here so let's refresh I think I need to restart the server so npm run dev I'm gonna pause the video so this gets restarted okay so we are into our project that's on the browser and of course we have created the page but we haven't really link this URL over here I mean, we can go on slash categories it will work but let's just link it into the nav shall we so we have categories all I have to do is just use the link over here so just wrap it with the link let's do that so I'll put it here and let's take this whole thing and put it inside of this this is how you write link in Next.js again this is not a tutorial for Next.js this has all been covered earlier so I'm not sure, I'm not going to go over that just yet. Okay, so this is going to be at slash categories. So you already know in Next.js if you create any of the comp any of the components here, that the name of the component becomes the uh, route. So basically, uh, that component is available at that route. So if it's slash categories, it'll be slash categories. Categories. What am I missing? What am I missing? Categories. Copy. Oh, okay. Okay, maybe just giving the error. Let's try. Okay, let's click. And let's see. There you go. We have the categories available. And if you do an inspect element, since we have this object available, let's just open it and there you go you've got the product categories and you've got all of the categories being displayed you have the source image URL and all of that stuff going on and that's exactly what we wanted right awesome so you have the data we can end the video over here shouldn't we I mean you've got the data right you can do it yourself do you need me okay you need me so I'm gonna do this for you great all of this code will be available on github so it's okay if you don't code along you can take the code from there as well so you can go to my profile first go ahead and follow me from here 
and then go to my repository it's called Woo next click over here it's already got so it's already got 25 I would expect you to give me one more and you can go over here and you can get all of the code from there okay awesome so we've got the data and uh, as you can see it's inside of product categories because that's what we named over here coming back that's what we named over here which means we can pull this out of props in props we have product categories available we can pull it out using object destructuring so we can just say const let's just keep it as this we can just say const and pull out the product categories out of this object this dot sorry I'm used to writing classes that's why I was writing this but we know that now we're using hooks so we don't really need classes okay we've got product categories so all we have to do is just loop through it so in the next video we're going to talk about uh, creating a component that is going to help us loop through these uh, product categories and just display them uh, for you so we get all of the products all right I'll see you in the next video and if you did like my video guys please give a thumbs up and uh, do subscribe to my channel and you can also follow me on Twitter uh, at Imran H. Sayyad. Okay, this is where you can follow me and I will see you and in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.